Watch Me Pro is loaded with so many amazing features and with features, you get a lot of settings. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the top settings that you should turn on or off. So to get to settings in this software, you're gonna press this middle button here and then you are either gonna be in modes so it'll say modes here, and this is where you could change your view modes. But to get the settings, it's going to be over here to the right. And this is where you're going to access all of the settings. And the first one that I want to talk about is going to be in general. And that is going to be a protect active deck. So watch what happens. This song on the right is playing. And then let's say you meant to load up a song on the left deck, but you accidentally were going to load it on the wrong deck. So now it says you are about to load a song onto an active deck. Do you want to proceed? So if you did it by accident, you just press cancel, continue with your set. If you meant to do it, then obviously you could just load it up right there. But this makes sure that you don't accidentally press the wrong button and then mute or ruin the song that you're playing. And then there'll be no music at all, which is the one mistake that you do not want to make while you're DJing is have the music stop completely. Next one in general, this one, I recommend to keep this one off. If you're very new to this app and you just started, you'll notice that that as soon as you load up a song, it starts playing. So you don't have to press play. It'll start playing automatically. Now, some DJs that are used to other softwares and other ways of DJing like this feature. But if you're wondering why the song keeps playing every time you load it up without you doing anything, that is the setting where you could change it. And for me, I think it's easier with this setting turned off. Next really important one is going to be here in sound. And it's going to be down here with auto gain. This is going to automatically adjust the gain so you don't have to while you're DJing. And the reason why I would definitely recommend leaving this setting on is because the only way to control the gain is going to be these really hard to use knobs. So they're kind of like impossible to use. And then a lot of controllers don't have gain knobs. You could just use this feature and not worry about it. So as soon as you load up a song onto the deck, you'll see it down there at the bottom. It's going to adjust the, it's going to adjust the gain so that the two songs could be close to the same volume, which is very important when you're DJing. You don't want to go from really high volume to really low volume. So I would leave auto gain on. And then also another bonus one with that is you can unlink the, con unlink the controller's gain. This is a new feature. So you could adjust the gain on your controller and it won't affect what you see on the screen because it's really hard to see those gain controls. So if you have a controller that still has a gain control, then you could put that feature on. Next one is going to be the audio limiter. This will prevent you from ruining someone's speakers uh, if you're playing at a club or something with really expensive speakers or a friend's house or something or your own equipment or have distorted audio while you're trying to DJ, which is pretty important. Next is pre-queuing. So it's going to auto-select where the headphones are. This splitter cable allows you to plug in headphones and your audio so you could instantly split the output. And now you'll see these headphone icons down here. So watch as I adjust the volume and the crossfader. So if you have the crossfader to the right, so only the right is playing, it's going to automatically put the headphones where the audio is not coming out of. But it doesn't just work with the crossfader uh, with the new update. Now it also works with the volume fader. So the inactive deck or the deck that has the least volume is where you're going to hear the headphones, which is where you're going to want to. And this leaves you a really cool button to map with a smaller controller because most controllers will have buttons for this, but you don't need them if you have this feature. And if you want to learn how to DJ with DJ Pro and headphones, check out this video over here.